Hey everyone, it's Lori here from Lori Hooks. Um, welcome. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Um, so I was going to talk about uh, what I've been up to for the last week. Uh, it's just under a week since I was last on. It was um, Tuesday last week I made a video. Um, today's Monday. I don't know if my video is going to get posted today. Um, it might be tomorrow. We'll see how timing goes. I've got a busy work week this week. Um, I'm trying to get this video done so that I feel like I've accomplished something before I get started on my uh, work week stuff that I've got to get caught up on. So I have a couple finished objects to show you. Um, I had started this one last week. So this is my, sorry, Sophie's here and breathing and making noise and walking around if you hear her clicking. Um, so this is my hoodie bunny. Um, and I will link the pattern below. I use the free pattern off the website to make this bunny. And I will show you the back of him. He's very cute. And his hood does come off. I'll try to see if I can take his hood off and show him to you. Here he is with his hood off. So I think he's very cute. Um, I don't remember what this pattern was rated. I would not consider this a beginner pattern. Um, as for making the pieces and that portion of the instructions, they were very good, but there was very little assembly instructions. Um, it said what order to do it in, but it didn't indicate uh, rows to put things in or those kind of things really. Um, and the hood, the hood was created separately from the head and the body so sewing those portions together was difficult and I would not say this is beginner amigurumi pattern for that reason but um, I do like the way he came out and I think that he's very cute. So there he is. Uh, the next thing that I finished was um, sending a package to somebody and I like to um, send something that's um, homemade with with things when I can, when I have time to make something. So I made this little bookmark for her. There's the top and the rest of it. So I will link the pattern that I used, but I, I screwed up when I was making it. Um, and I ended up with four petals, not five. So then I completely winged it after that and did my own thing. Um, and I wanted it to be, when I sewed the the, the yellow center on, the yellow was showing on the back, so I made the stem so that it would hide the, the sewing on the back. And I haven't mentioned my yarn for that I've used for things so far. This was uh, Sheepies Katona. So here's the white. Here's the white of the Sheepies Katona. So this is Snow White, and I used Golden Yellow, and the green is Emerald Green. And to make Hoodie Bunny, because I didn't mention this one, he is made with Red Heart Super Saver in the color Hunter Green. And the white is Bernat Premium. And the color on this is just white. Um, I'm, not, I'm sure you've seen these yarns before, so I'm not going to bother giving you the specs. That's what I created these with. Um, so what else have I been up to? So I, um, okay, so I've showed this one before, so I'll show you my progress on this. Sorry, my craft cart is very full of stuff. My patterns are stacked here. So, um, back on this one. So I've been, started this rainbow sampler blanket. I started it last Saturday, so just over a week ago. And when I showed it last week, I was, um, so this is the bottom, I was up to the middle row of the blue, and this is where I'm at now. It's very wide. It's wider than my, than my arm width, my wingspan. Very large blanket and I'll link the blanket below. Um, I did buy the PDF on Ravelry for this because I wanted the I wanted to be able to print it out 
So, but there is a, a free version available online. This was originally done as a cowl, and I don't remember how many parts there were to the cowl, but I'm almost finished part two at this point. And I'm really liking the way this looks so far. It's fun to work on. Um, I like things that have a variety of stitches and some, I don't, complications not really what I mean, just not too much repetitiveness. That's that's the type of things that I like. And this, this is very, um, because the sampler, you know, you're changing to different stitches and stuff like that. And it gives it a lot of, um, you know, there's interesting things to do and stuff like that. So I'm really enjoying this pattern so far and I like the colors. I did purchase the kit. So these are the exact colors that was recommended. And here is one of the balls. So it is Sheepy's Color Crafter. And there are 25 colors in this. So there was um, 28 skeins in total in the, in the kit. Um, four of them are gray and the rest of them are different miscellaneous colors and I purchased the kit and then after I received it I realized that I had some of the colors already in um, the Stylecraft Special DKs use the same color numbers as the Sheepies is um, so and I had some open schemes from previous projects of the um, Stylecraft so I'm using up my style craft skeins first and keeping the full ones of these where I can. Um, but that's where I'm at with this one, my rainbow sampler. So uh, then when I finished Hoodie Bunny, I felt like I need to start a new amigurumi. So I started, what did I do with that? This beehive gnome. And I purchased this pattern. I purchased it... Um, <coughs> probably about a month ago or a month and a half ago. It's a Pam Pino design and there's her name at the top. Now I cannot link her, this pattern on Ravelry because her store is on hold right now. Um, I'm assuming it's because of her location and the purchase can't be put through on PayPal. I'm assuming that's what it's about. Um, she has some really lovely um, gnome patterns and um, it's it's too bad that she can't sell right now um, but I like thankfully I had purchased this one and another one that I haven't started yet about six weeks ago four, four or six weeks ago I, had, I bought them then because they were on sale um, so I had the page open I was looking at them and um, I let my daughter pick out one of them I picked out and then she picked out this beehive one because I wanted I wanted something new that's springish to go around the house um, and she picked out this one. There was also a bunch of Eastery ones and things like that and they were a little more I wanted something that was more seasonal rather than a holiday so that was why um, she picked the beehive gnome. So I got started on him. This is I did. I started the bottom and I'm just working my way up the sides of the body. And again, I'm using these the Sheepies Katona for this as well. And I'm not going to go through the colors because they're numbers and I didn't write down the color names. Um, but I picked out colors that I thought would go well with um, the picture and um, because she uses, I've forgotten what the yarn's called, um, but it's not, so I didn't use the colors that were recommended in the pattern because it didn't have the specific color names for the brand that I purchased. And then on hook that I'm using for this is my new, just purchased this, Tulip 2.2 millimeter crochet hook. Um, the last pattern I did with um, this yarn that was an amigurumi, I used a Clover 2.25 and um, I messaged Rebecca at Yarn and Pajamas to see what hooks she usually uses for these yarns because I was having a little bit of trouble with, um, you know, the hook is so small that I would, it wouldn't necessarily 
grab the yarn and it would split sometimes when I was when I was turning so um, I asked Rebecca what she uses and she uses the tulip hook and I I mean I'm not very far yet I'm just this much of the bottom but I'm really liking the tulip hook with this yarn and um, I might purchase some more tulip hooks down the road I do have a 3.5 millimeter as well but it's the pink not the red I don't know if there's really a difference between the pinks and the reds and there's also the, um, the ones with the gray handles I don't know if there's really a difference between these but I purchased the red one for this one um, and I'm really liking this hook with my yarn so that is my beehive what else have I been working on so I have been working on my uh, Tunisian square for Jada's Jada and Stitches calendar cow, Tunisian calendar cow and this is what I have so far and this is the pearl stitch and I I lost my row counter I, for, that I was using for this I have no idea where it is so I think I counted the rows and I think I was at somewhere around 14 and I think I have I think each one is 32 rows something like that so I have a, a ways till to go on this and the next square should release this Friday I think so I need to get start, get on this and get it finished and this is um, loops and threads impeccable that I'm using this for this from Michaels and speaking of Michaels if you are in Canada all yarn at Michael's is 30% off right now. I don't know when it finishes. I noticed that it was on sale on Friday. Um, and I did go to Michael's this weekend and purchase some things, but I'm not going to show them today. Um, but it's 30% off right now. And I would assume that it's probably until probably th Wednesday or Thursday this week would be my guess, but I'm not really sure. Um, they don't really tell you when the sale is going to end. They just tell you that there is one. Um, and the last time Michael's here had yarn on sale, like all yarns, not just like one brand. I'm pretty sure the last sale was the end of J um, December between Christmas and New Year's. So um, take advantage of the sale if you're here and you need things. Not that I'm encouraging yarn purchasing and all that kind of stuff. But if you're needing yarn, then Michael's has for sale. Uh, so the other thing that I did was... Um, I decided to try to knit again. Um, to go back a little bit, um, my grandmother taught me to knit when I was a girl. Um, of course, my grandmother would have taught me, um, I don't know the, the name for the, I'm gonna call it the original method of, of crochet, um, knitting, um, where, well, in, in this case, she's, my grandmother was right-handed. And even though I am left-handed, I knit and I crochet right-handed, probably partially because I do a lot of things right-handed because society's right-handed. Um, but also I learned to knit and crochet from my grandmother and with her being right-handed, she taught me to do things right-handed. So um, when she originally taught me to knit, she, you know, she taught me the, the yarning over with your with holding the yarn in your right hand not your left hand whereas um, this I'm doing with the continental method which you hold the yarn in your left hand so I did try to knit it was probably about close to two years ago um, when my grandmother passed in 2015 I um, and we cleaned out her apartment I took her crochet hooks and her knitting needles and I tried to make a dishcloth with um, some of her, her, well I used one of her circular needles that she had that was the right size and it was um, kind of a cheaper plastic um, knitting needle and every, it kept the cotton kept getting stuck on it and um, I was I was using the method where you hold your yarn in your right hand and yarning over like this and my wrist was hurting and my elbows were hurting and I got like halfway through this dishcloth and I was like no this isn't for me um, no but I do love the look of knit 
pro um, projects and how they come out. So I decided that I was going to try again. So I purchased some new knitting needles, which I'll talk about another day, but these are, what are they called? I think they're, I'm not getting to say. So I, I purchased some knitting needles and I decided to try to make a dishcloth. And this is what I have so far. There's the front and there's the back. And you do both knit and purl stitches with this. So I'm having fun with it so far. I'm using um, the Skeena Burnett Handicrafter that I had around the house. Um, and I'm enjoying it so far. Um, whether I will continue, we will see, but I'm enjoying working on this so far and using the Continental Method so far has been much easier on my wrists and my elbows than using the older method that my grandmother had taught me originally. Um, so, is that all I've worked on this week? I think that's all I've worked on this week. I have other whips around and stuff, but I don't think I've worked at the, on them at all this week. Um, yeah, so it's, it's um, we were having some more warmer spring-like days. I was able to go out a couple days with just a sweater on, um, but it is back to being cold today. When I woke up this morning, it was minus 11 Celsius out and the wind chill was minus 17. So we're back to winter coats today and we had some snow yesterday and some snow again this morning. Not very much, um, just enough that you got a thin layer on your car. Um, but yeah, I'm done with winter. It could go away anytime now. And um, that's that. So I feel like I've rushed through this video, which I kind of have. I have, to, I have, uh, it's not that I'm running late or that I really need to get it done that quickly. It's just I have a lot in my mind for what I need to do for my work week this week. And that's part of the reason why I'm trying to get this video done today. So that way I have um, my video done and my objects so far. Because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get back on here again this week and talk about it. I do have an acquisition that I'd like to show you guys. But um, well, I have two acquisitions. I, I purchased those items at Michael's. Um, and then I had another acquisition, but I'll have to do a video for that another day when I have some extra time and can go through what I got because I have some impressions on it. And uh, yeah. So anyways, I hope that uh, everybody had a good weekend and I hope that everybody has a good week. And I will see you next time. Oh, thank you for watching. If you'd like to like and subscribe, I'd like that. But thanks for hanging out with me today. Bye.